What's up, King? It's been a while. Give me dots. What's up, everyone in the channel? It's been a while since I posted it. You already know. I've been busy, but it's all good. Wanna know why? My favorite thing in the world, more than hot girls, is to destroy virgin meta Yu-Gi-Oh players using the best deck Pendulum. So when I see a deck that is also non-meta destroying all meta virgins, it makes me happy on the inside. It makes me makes me tear up of happiness. So what happened? My boy Base Lolly took Dragon Mates to a PPG tournament and destroyed them all with undefeated. Crazy. Crazy. Dragon Maid deck profile? No, this is not Dragon Maid deck profile. This is the greatest Dragon Maid deck profile y'all ever seen. So if you're the video, smash the subscribe button and let's go, baby. <laughs> It's your boy today's video we're gonna be doing a dragon made deck profile maybe the deck's actually good so what do we do we call base lolly on the channel yo base lolly say what's up bro yo what up trip gaming what up trip gamers <laughs> trip gamers <laughs> trip gamers this gotta be a new thing uh bro i want to tell i want to show the world what you did with this deck because i saw it live you were clapping people with dragon maids and dragon maids might low-key be a tier two tier two deck in a real meta so bro what do you do in this tournament bro Bro, I'd love to tell you. First of all, thanks for having me on. Uh, look, I ain't a furry either, but <laughs> uh, let me tell you, these Dragon Mates surprised me too, all right? Uh, they're low-key, a tier 2 option, but high-key, a tier 5 option. <laughs> so, uh, but, 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 with that said, I went, uh, it was a six-round tournament, 64 people. Uh, I went undefeated in Swiss. What? I went undefeated in Swiss, and then uh, top 8, tore right through it. Uh, top four, easy. Uh, not really, <laughs> but you can watch the replay of that. And then in the finals, I lost to uh, Dinosaur, which is this deck's worst matchup, but so is every other deck, because this deck has no good matchup. <laughs> but, you know what, whatever. Uh, it used the PPG ban list. I think that's really important to know. Uh, so, it meant that people can use uh, Hakka Fibrax or Block Dragon. And so, you know, this card, I, or these, 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 this deck, essentially, I figured may have had a better chance. That, that's still crazy, man. Undefeated, even without those cards, undefeated. That that that's a, that's a absolutely amazing, man. I'm I'm just as amazed. <laughs> I'm just as amazed. But hey, with that being said, for any Dragon Mage players in the chat, pay close attention because this is the Dragon Mage God, baby. He did it for the glory of all of you sitting in your parents' basements. So with that being said, let's go straight into this deck profile. Give it to him, Lolly. All right, now you can't start a Dragon Mage deck profile without the classic. Itadaki Mas, baby. All right, so uh, the first uh, lineup, I picked uh, only 10 of the little Dragon Maids. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, three Chamber, uh, which is the new one. She searches a Speller Trap when she's normal or Special Summon. Now, we've been playing a lot of Cube Draft lately, yeah. and the best cards you draft, for sure, are not the cards that say when they're Normal Summon, they get the effect, but when they're Normal and or, or Special Summon, then they get the effect. Yeah, right? yeah. So these cards in themselves uh, have a lot of power behind them. Um, because they're so flexible and you don't just have to normal summon them. They're not super normal summon reliant. Right. You can special them too. And so, uh, you'll see later there are just a ton of extenders, uh, that let you keep going, right? Oh, so, they all do the same thing. They all do the same thing. That's sick. Right, so, wow. So, so they all, uh, one thing they all have in common, which I'll say now, is that they can all tag out for a bigger dragon mate of a certain level, right? So, uh, Chamber specifically can tag out it for seven or higher. So she is one of the more flexible ones uh, because there are both seven and eight big yep. dragon maids. Yep. Uh, so she can search spell and traps, uh, which is really important because uh, your win condition is based on your spell and trap, right? Yeah. Uh, so then the next one is kitchen dragon maid. She's a fire level three. And uh, her effect is she adds a dragon maid monster from your deck to your hand, but then you have to uh, send a dragon maid monster from your hand to the graveyard afterwards. Mm -hmm. So at worst, she's a uh, foolish burial. Yeah. Uh, basically, like uh, like a, like a dumper, and then at best she can add one of the big dragon, discard one of the little ones, and then you can uh, use an extender, get back the little one to uh, add uh, the fusion spell, and then pop off from there, right? Yeah. So it really kind of fixes your hand in that regard. Uh, Parlor Dragon Maid's a level three win, uh, and she is. Uh, oh, oh, worth noting, um, the fire one uh, can only bounce back to summon level eight Dragon Maids, um, whereas. Uh, Chamber, again, can summon level 7 or higher, right? Right, so, right, right. Uh, 
So then Parlor, same thing, can bounce back to some level 8 Dragon Maid. When it's normal or special, it can send a uh, Dragon Maid card in general uh, to the graveyard, right? The yeah. Grave. yeah. So that's really good because one of your spell and traps, particularly uh, uh, the fusion spell, can bounce uh, to add back to your hand. So that's how you generate like card advantage really fast. And uh, that's kind of how you overwhelm your opponent. But it's also how you start off your play by making the fusion monster that's really your win condition. Right, right. So right. Uh, we'll get into that in the extra deck, of course, because that's how you win the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the last one is one copy of Nurse Dragon Maid. Uh, she's easily uh, the best one when you're going, but she's not a starter whatsoever. She basically just blizzard. When she's normal or special summoned, she can summon a level 4 lower Dragon Maid uh, from the graveyard, uh, except herself. And then she can bounce back to summon a level 7 or high, or just a level 7 uh, Dragon Maid monster from your hand or grave. Right, right. So right. Uh, she's really good once you're already going. Uh, and she's kind of how you generate this uh, intense recursion because what you'll end up doing is you'll get into this loop where you summon Nurse Dragon Maid uh, to bring back uh, Chamber Dragon Maid, and then you'll bounce Nurse Dragon Maid uh, back to your hand, and then you'll just keep doing that over and over again. So yeah. really, you just don't run out of stuff to do, right? Yeah. So those are all the whittles, uh, 10 only. Laundry and like the other, like, that's the, I think that's the only other whittle I didn't play. Uh, not very good. I wanted to minimize, like, there were just so many traps, and when I, when I say trap, I mean, like, uh, cards <laughs> that you could play in the Dragon Maid deck, but they're not good at all. Yeah. Uh, but people just want to play them because it's, it's a Dragon Maid name, right? Yeah. But they're just not very good. I want to suck. minimize yeah. bad cards to draw, yeah. and maximize the good cards. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's hard to call Dragon Maid good. So yeah. then for the big one... Yeah, I know, hey, man, you, you can't say that, bro. You just destroyed the whole tournament with it, bro. Good. Uh, you're right. Oh. You're right. You can't call it good. Very good is what it is. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Trip Gamers. Uh, so, uh, on that note, uh, the best big dragon uh, for, on the Dragon Maid archetype it's three of right? the fusion yeah. is uh, Three Ernest. Yeah, man. Uh, she is, uh, she basically, so all of the big dragons cannot be destroyed by card effects when you control a fusion, uh, I think, Dragon Maid monster. Um, but, uh, or uh, uh, a, fusion a fusion monster, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so then uh, she, she has a quick effect in your hand where you can discard her to summon a one level four or lower Dragon Maid from your hand. Uh, this is kind of good when you get like hand trapped or something happens to your normal summon. And so you can basically uh, summon another one out of your hand and then you can bounce it back in your battle phase to summon Ernest. Uh, so really, again, keeps up the pressure. Uh, and then at the end of the battle phase, all of the uh, Dragon Maid monsters have an effect uh, where they can bounce back to your hand to summon one of the Whittles out of yep. your hand, right? Yep. Uh, yep. So in this case, Ernest can summon a level two because she is the big version of Nurse Dragon Maid. Uh, the next one, who is La, uh, Lorepar, Lorepar, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dragon Maid Lorepar, uh, one of the actually the better ones, um, although not as good as Ernest, but like uh, going second, Lorepar has this effect where uh, you can discard it. It's not a quick effect, but you can discard it, target one face-up monster on the field, and then they can't activate that target's effects uh, on the field this turn. It didn't come up that often, but some monsters which I can't, I mean, I, know, I definitely know I resolved it in tournament because I have all the replays, right? But, um, you know, like, you can stop them from activating, like, a negate on your, like, normal summon or something, and then you can just play through it, right? Uh, so, more part in that regard, and then at the end of the battle phase, more part can bounce back to summon a level 3 dragon made from your hand. Yeah. Um, and then the last one is the fire big one, uh, Tink. <laughs> well, I'm not going to try. <laughs> uh too late, I already did, I guess. Uh, so her effect is basically, uh, you can discard her as a quick effect, and uh, a Dragon Maid monster you control gains 2,000 attack until the end of the turn. Uh, and then she can bounce back to summon a level three Dragon Maid. This one's really relevant with one of the trap cards I play, uh, where you can have her summon back off of the fusion, uh, bounce it back to your hand. So if your guy ever, if they ever try and threaten your big negate with like a monster that's bigger than 3,500, you can protect it with uh, this, the, the big fire dragon maid. So that's like one of the cool interactions yep. uh, that card has. Uh, again, I didn't want to play, I only wanted to play one in one of the two big dragons because they were easily like the, like they weren't very good, but you do need to play them to synergize with um, the the, uh, the red, the kitchen dragon maid and the parlor dragon maid. Uh, however, they're uh, not extenders. I mean, they don't really do anything, yeah. uh, but also uh, you do definitely need them as fusion material for the fusion. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that's, so that's super important. So they're, they're like... they're like. But, but I wanted to minimize those as much yeah. as possible. Again, Furnace is an extender, so I play three. Right? Exactly. So, but these are like a little bricky, but they're very necessary for like the power of the deck, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely.
Um, so, so then, uh, uh, one copy of uh, Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms. Yeah. Uh, that's like my last dragon. I didn't play an REDMD or anything like that. I know it's not a Rated yet. Uh, but Tempest is just a dragon that keeps coming back, and you can use his fusion material for uh, Shio. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's, uh, I mean, again, your win con, right? Uh, but also, uh, this deck, the way it plays, because I'm not trying to emulate, uh, so this is why I didn't play Red Eyes Arctic Metal Dragon, right? I'm not trying to emulate Dragon Link, because I could just play Dragon Link. Right. Right. Uh, instead, I'm trying to emulate more of like a Sky Striker oriented strategy. Control so kind of. Like control the duel. Yeah. Right. With like negates and hand traps. Yeah. Um, really minimalistic plays. You know, the max generally is four, uh, and then you end on a negate. Right. So then the viewers are dead and everything. Right. And then on the following turn, you use cards like Tempest. You use the bigger dragons uh, to kill them. So that yeah. way you can use your hand traps, which I'll show you next. Very aggressive. Right. Um, rather than holding them for like next turn and turn after. Right, right. So right. that's why I played Tempest. Right. Uh, so then for hand traps, uh, I played, the, my choices were uh, three effect failure and three ash blossom as the monster ones. Um, there are, I, I did play, you can you can hover over this too, I did play three infinite and permanent yeah. as my last set of hand traps. So nine in total. Uh, I figured this would be enough. I probably see one hand trap every time I go second. Yes, and, that, uh, is the, that is the perfect oh, math. Awesome. That is the perfect math, actually. If you want to see exactly one, like the perfect right. math is actually nine. So, so another issue is uh, having this contrast between uh, playable cards in your hand and defense. So right. if you have too much defense, uh, this deck doesn't have a lot of like one card starters. In fact, it has zero. So <laughs> uh, a lot of your combos are two card combos. Like, yes. uh, or, uh, like, like the uh, Foolish Burial and World Legacy Guard Dragon is one. Yeah. Uh, actually, all of them are World Legacy Guard Dragon are one, which I'll get into in a second. Um, but, uh, again, not a lot of one-card combos. So I right. couldn't afford to play too much defense. Right, that right, right. That said, uh, Shio alone is not enough to win the game generally. You definitely need yeah. one more form of interaction. Yeah. Um, also, one, yeah. Hawk Five Racks and stuff, uh, again, not legal. Right, So right. I didn't really have to worry about overloading my deck to stop Hawk Five Racks. Yeah. You, are we scared of Altergeist? No way, bro, right? We aren't scared of Altergeist. Who cares about that? Uh, oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, so I said that this deck has no good matchups. That might be one of its more <laughs> playable matchups, right? Is yeah, I, right? I, I saw it live, man. I saw you destroy an Altergeist player, like obliterated him. Oh, yeah. It's just like, you know, and he opened, like, uh, he opened, uh, so that game, he opened Extravagance, Evenly Match, and Multifaker. But yeah, yeah. Fake, evenly yeah. matches all my cards, <laughs> and then, because I negate Extravagance. Act, some, activates multi-faker meanwhile I have like seven or eight cards in my hand so yeah. it's like yeah that deck those decks aren't really what you struggle against it's definitely like the decks that go really wide yeah. and you can't really keep up with them right yeah. so I yeah. uh, definitely have to stop them before they get too far that's right. the nature of a control deck right so that's why I played those hand cards yeah and then uh, so for the next so uh, for the spells uh, the Dragon Maid spell support I played three hospitality again another extender that you can search and then one copy of uh, Dragon Maid Changeover, which is the MVP spell of the deck, mainly <laughs> because it gets you to your win con. Yeah, uh, yeah. You only play one of it, however, because it's it's tutorable. Right. And you can keep adding it back to your hand off of its effect. So its effect is, on top of being able to fusion summon a dragon monster from your extra deck, uh, you can bounce a face-up Dragon Maid monster on the field while it's in the graveyard, or while uh, Changeover is in the graveyard, and then add Changeover back to your hand. So another just form of recursion and, and uh, a card advantage you just uh summon shio and then you just keep adding more dragon maids like the little one face up on the field back to your hand and right. then eventually over time uh ho hopefully <laughs> over, over the, the over the course of two turns uh your opponent won't really be able to win because uh too much advantage you know if you let your opponent go on for too long there's no way i mean there's no way you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna win but the dragons are super big right right so right, right that's kind of how you play this deck uh next we play uh uh, one Monster Reborn and three World Legacy Guard Dragon. Uh, Reborn was just because I was playing all of the Reborn spells anyway, like as many as I could, yeah. basically, yeah. without playing like the bad ones like Succession, which yeah. doesn't really work in this deck. Yeah. Um, but World Legacy Guard Dragon itself, um, it's basically like also uh, three more copies of Call by the Grave, which I also played, uh, because uh, when they hand trap your Dragon Maid card, you can actually, uh, world Leg like if they like were to veil or one of them, you can make Almirage, and then you can World Legacy of Guard Dragon, uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon, the Dragon back, and then make LP, scooch LP over with uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the spell's effect, and then yeah. do like the LP combo. Like, nice. I say LP combo, but there's no real <laughs> LP combo. It's just basically get to, getting to the fusion, right? Yeah, so yeah. You can keep going after that, right? Right. So, 
Uh, super nice. helpful to basically fix your hands. Uh, and then reborn again, like I said. Yeah. So then uh, Call by the Grave, same thing. Deck is very uh, hand trap susceptible to where, yeah. like, if they hand trap at the right time, which is really just whenever you summon a monster, uh, then it could just break your whole hand out. Right. Uh, there were a lot of times where I was just passing on, like, uh, just like summon a Dragon Maid, they Veiler, and then I like, set a bunch of cards to go. Um, you know, it's it's really hard to play through those if you don't have like one of your six um, counterplay options. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. But I tried to maximize them. Essentially. Right, right, right. Uh, that's why I did those. And then the last three spells are three Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, they're like the flex spot of the deck. Yeah. Um, if I were playing current format, I'd probably just take those out for three more hand traps. Right, right. Uh, because again, needle fire or half five racks is a must stop. Yeah. But uh, I figured more people would play Alter Guys, Sour Mangrave, you know, all exactly. these like yeah. uh, other decks that weren't obviously uh, Eldritch. And, and even against Eldritch, Cosmic is good, right? Uh, it's only when they play Aqua Five Racks that yeah. they removal yeah. good anymore. So yeah. uh, I decided three Cosmic was probably just a good meta call for the tournament. Right. And it was. A lot of people play either Rogue or. You know, salad or uh, ultra guys. Yeah, or things yeah, like that. Just exactly. Obviously, wasn't good against Dino, but yeah, yeah, yeah. no card is. So, uh, <laughs> and then the last card I played was Dragon Maid Downtime. A lot of decks just aren't playing this. Uh, I actually got this idea, and here's a good time to shout this out uh, from uh, Jeff Jones, who yeah. plays this in the Dragon Maid deck too. He yeah. played one copy of Downtime, and it's definitely just one of the best cards uh, in the deck. Uh, I say one of, you know, because I've said a lot of cards are really good in this deck, but this card especially. I say that because not a lot of people play it, and I think you really should play one copy of it. Uh, it's searchable, but also it keeps uh, your, advantage, your advantage engine going in case the game goes longer than two turns, which you don't want it to do, but this is like a contingency, right? Yeah, so yeah. Like, if your hands aren't aggressive enough, sometimes you'll deal maybe like 64 or 7,000, uh, but you won't be able to deal like all eight. So uh, you'll definitely need like a card to keep uh, making uh, more Shios or House Dragon Maids, uh, in order to create more interruptions in case you don't have the hand traps because you used them the turn prior. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I played that card. Also, Makes uh, sense. the bouncing the spell trap effect uh, comes up every once in a while. Um, you know, it gets like a field spell deck. Sometimes it comes up. I played against Plunder Patrol and, you know, I bounced their field spell a couple of times. I mm -hmm. bounce like the uh, equip. Like they end up equipping their link monster to their guy and you can bounce that back to their extra deck. Oh, wait, so, didn't you use this against uh, Evenly yeah. that one time? Uh, right. So, so yeah. uh, the effect, you want me to say the effect? Uh, no, but you use a, this, this kind of saved you from evenly, right? Like, oh, it, it basically uh, bounced your card back and add another, right? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, when he evenly me, I didn't have... Oh, so, uh, yeah, so when he evenly me, it, or when he evenly me, it gave me another card in my hand. I think yeah. I actually just kept downtime. And so, it basically, like, wind up back at that point, right? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah. More Dragon Age. Yo, this guy's crazy, what the hell? I just, I'm reading it right now, how can you not play this card? This guy's crazy. Right. So by the time he was like on his next turn, even though he had like multi kicker and everything out, I had like eight cards in my hand. Yeah. He was like not winning that game. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that's it for the main deck. Yeah. Um, do you want to do extra side first? Uh, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's go extra next. Let's go extra. Yeah, let's do extra because because extra is really important because I've yeah. said all this stuff, but I haven't really mentioned the win condition. Right. Which is a uh, Shio. Well, here uh, we Shio go. Shio is yeah. essentially to make her. She's like the boss monster of the deck. Yeah. yeah. She's a light level ten dragon. Uh, she requires a dragon made monster and one level five or higher dragon, any dragon monster. So this, right. this is good. Oh, nice. Also, yeah. if you wanted to play Phantasme, Phantasme would be pretty good in this deck. Right. I just didn't think it was good against the deck I'd be, the decks I'd be facing. Right, exactly. Um, basically, during each day by phase, you can special summon a level nine or uh, lower dragon made monster from your hand or graveyard. But then uh, she gets really broken when your opponent activates a card or effect, just like anything. You can negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, and then after that, you return her to the extra deck and summon a house dragon maid from your extra deck, right? So one thing very important to note is that if you don't have any house dragon maids in your extra deck, you cannot negate anything. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and then on top of that, uh, house dragon maid, uh, if you summon her this way, she can't be summoned back by any means. So, like, don't try and cheat and do that. Uh, you can't do that. Uh, and then, uh, but, but even still, even with those restrictions, um, Chio is still the best card in the deck by far. It's the reason why the deck was even remotely playable. Uh, and really, you know, a lot of people were wondering, well, what is, what's so broken about your deck? Well, okay, A, it's not. B, all you do is Shio, a hand trap, and a lot of decks can't play through that, realistically. That's right. Yeah. Um, you know, and so... Yeah, and you, you uh, play, you play, uh, fi yeah, you play 15 defensive cards, so even if you just go Shio and two of the defensive cards, I mean, that, that's just game. And OTK I mean, next it, turn. Right? Yeah. Because you don't stop after that, because Shio gets you another monster right. to, uh, 
keep playing on your next turn. Yeah. And then uh, you negate a card, and then you get house. And then house on the next standby phase, uh, if your monster, if the other monster you summon back off Shia lives, gets you another monster, and then you just kill them at that point, right? So, right. Uh, again, really trying to play all your defensive cards very aggressively, so that on the next turn you just kill them. Right, right exactly. No chance for them to fight anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then three house Dragon May, just to go in, long, go in line with like the Shio. Uh, there are a lot of times where the games can get really grindy, uh, and that's where you play downtime, right? But another concession to the grindy matches, I also played three house Dragon May, uh, because I wanted as many to get to the Shio as possible. Right, Also, right, right. there were times where I'd want to summon house Dragon Maid uh, after the fact to be able to summon it again, like even just keep summoning it, it off of like Shio. Uh, you can actually bounce for House Dragon Maid. Uh, you can bounce Chamber Dragon Maid for House Dragon Maid and Shio. Uh, but Shio never reaches your graveyard, really, because it bounces back to the extra deck. But House does, right? So you can actually have House keep coming back if they ever kill it. Uh, yeah. So another thing, uh, something very important, which I've seen in some replays, not going to name names here, but uh, <laughs> someone, uh, a professional, a high-level player, was trying to use House Dragon Maid targeting itself. You can't do that. You have to. So her effect is you target one other dragon made monster on the field during the standby. Summon a dragon made oh, monster, right. uh, or uh, yeah, summon a dragon made monster with one level higher or lower than that. Uh, and so it can't target itself to summon one of the eight. Right? You just can't do that. Uh, so that's why her alone is not very good. But uh, then when another dragon monster is returned uh, to the hand, uh, you can uh, pop a monster, pop an opponent's monster on the field. Right? So. What you would do, like, this is so good with downtime. I mean, this is good. If they ever enter a battle phase, they're losing all their monsters. Like, that's just happening. Um, <laughs> so this card, I mean, this card was just, like, uh, it was pretty good. It was definitely, you definitely need three just because of Shio, for sure. But right. it was just a good, it was, it was okay in general. Right. Uh, so that's it for, like, the Dragon Maid suite. Fusions, and then yeah, after yeah. that, I played LP Pisty because yeah. they're all dragons. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're not doing anything broken off them, so nobody should be <laughs> complaining. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, then you play two heretic, se uh, heretic Seal. So sometimes in like your more premium hands, you're going to end on like Shio and Heretic Seal. And that is like really hard to crack for most decks because Heretic Seal is going to eat up their normal summon. Uh, uh, by the way, this is decks without Block Dragon and Hawk of Fire Rack. It's yeah. important to note because decks with them can easily play around Shio, Heretic Seal. It's like nothing yeah. close, right? Yeah. Uh, but... Her actually deals, deals with their normal summon and brings back another monster, or and uh, like summons a monster from your deck to play for next turn. And then she negates like their extender. And then if you have like any hand trap, they lose. They could just lose on the spot from that setup, right? But you know, uh, having a hand trap would be ideal with that too. So again, like more premium hand. Uh, so I played two of it just because, uh, you know, again, game goes past game one. You're not really making a whole lot out of your extra deck anyway, other than LP Pisty. Mm -hmm. So. You know, having two was kind of nice. Yeah, you know? yeah, I never really, I never ever made two. By the way, just due to the game, <laughs> to it, the trip gamers. But uh, <laughs> you know, it's it was just good to have just in case. Yeah. And uh, speaking of extra deck monsters that never made, uh, <laughs> I, I played IP Masquerina, never made it. Nightmare Phoenix, never made it. Nightmare Unicorn, never made it. I'm pretty sure you just don't need those three cards. Yeah. I played them anyway, just in case. Yeah. Maybe I'd want to link off the fusions. I don't know. Never came up. Never happened. <laughs> so. Uh, then I played uh, Salman Great Almirage. Uh, Almirage is really important, actually, because, it, like I said, if they hit, with World Legacy Guard Dragon, right. if they hand trap your normal summon or something, then you can just uh, make Almirage and summon it back and then yep. do the LP stuff. Right. So that's why that's in there. Yep. Then Striker Dragon was for uh, LP Arrows. Uh, oh, okay. Also, yeah, yeah. Uh, all your guys are 500 attack in case like you ever needed to make one like 1,000 and you didn't have a big dragon. Like In, in case like something was in defense mode. I don't know. That came up one time, but... Um, I lost that game anyway, so Fair. that's why I played Striker Dragon. Uh, Boot Checker Watch is on the deck, also. Okay, <laughs> you guys can see that. So, uh, so side deck, right? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so three, uh, three Lancia. Uh, this mainly for, like, I thought Orcus would be kind of played. Because, yeah, I'll know, think that too. Occupy All the Orcus cards are still legal. Uh, Gearsu came out recently. Yeah, yeah. So I figured, okay, you know, just have Lancia in that just in case. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I heard it was good against Dinosaur. Uh, Steven, what do you think? What do you think about that? I, I honestly think Lancia is crazy against Dinos, bro. No Evo pill, no yeah. Misk, GG. Jesus, wow, good thing I had it. I wish I drew it. I don't know if that would make <laughs> difference. But um, then uh, three Didi Crow. Uh, yeah. This is for Salamander. Uh, yeah. Also, if anyone plays pure Eldritch, I played against a zombie Eldritch in tournament. Right. And 
it was very, very handy against that for sure. Yeah, yeah. The rocks or whatever. Definitely. Just mainly yeah. against Salaman, great. Uh, you know, Salaman yeah. was good. Yeah. Uh, glad I had that. Uh, three Nibiru. Decided to side it instead of main it because, again, I thought there was Alter a guys, high yeah, volume traps. Trap decks. Yeah, traps, uh, yeah. Again, for Salaman, great. And then all the combo decks because without Hop the Firebrax, I mean, and Black Dragon, how are you playing around Nibiru, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, well, are you going to Apollo? Okay. Jackal King, uh, Jackal King effect. Right, right, right. But aside from the best deck, yeah, no, no combo deck could play through good it. Thing, good, thing I, good thing I caught myself. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> Pendulum is probably the deck's worst matchup, as is every other deck. So, uh, <laughs> so three Lightning Storm. Yeah. Uh, again, so this was for, like, uh, the back row decks, obviously, but also, you know, you could play, like, Heroes and stuff, and this has overlap against that, too. So exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Lightning Storm is yeah. in there. Didn't play evenly matched because... You know, if they have like Dark Flower or something out like that, you yeah. just leave the Dark Flower or something. Yeah, that for one. Like a broken trap. It's yeah, like and trap. you Crucible probably want your battle phase, right? And also, yeah, so also you need your battle phase. Yeah. And that's yeah. like crucial, right? Yeah, so yeah. I didn't play evenly. Instead, I decided to play Twin Twisters uh, as the last three cards for backer decks. All right. Uh, you could summon the big dragons out of your grave. So if you're going oh, to second, you uh. can just like twin them, discard a big dragon, summon a little one, and then go to the oh. battle phase. All right, all right. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just good uh, for back row decks. Also, uh, there is a back row deck that is playing that PPG format that Lightning Storm is not that good against, which is Generator, because you can draw twin off the top of your deck uh, and then, like, twin them when they activate their field spell. Right, yeah. Also, yeah. they have a track card that says they can activate a field spell yeah. and you draw a card. So if you draw twin when they do that, then, like, you can just twin them, right? Yeah. Like, don't get their field spell. So, yeah. uh, again, just good overlap, good coverage. Uh I guess if I had any changes other than changing the deck I played, um, <laughs> three extra deck cards maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely the three extra deck cards. Although I don't know what I would put in instead, only because again, you really just uh, you basically only need the first ten, right? Then, like the yeah. Shio, the House, yeah, and the yeah. Seals. yeah, 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 uh, and the LP and stuff, obviously. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, the deck was pretty solid. I would definitely. Uh, I would definitely change it up based on what I expected to play in the tournament. Oh, yeah, Like, yeah, you know, yeah. there's Cosmic in the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You know, so, so very much, and like, you know, Impermanent Veiler. Uh, no. Really, if you know a lot of what you're going to play against in the tournament, you should definitely change your deck accordingly. Side deck, too. Yeah. But otherwise, I mean, you know, it was definitely a fun deck. And, uh, yeah, it was it was hilarious to show you guys uh, when I was playing it, because everyone thought I was going to lose, me yeah. included. <laughs> and uh, then I would surprise even myself, so... Yeah, hey, I gotta say, man, it's amazing. And a funny little backstory for everyone. We're on Discord with, with Alex while he's playing his games. We all think he's losing every single game. He's down every game. He's down and out. He's down and out. But he somehow finds a way to come back every single game. It was ridiculous. Like, this deck's actually good. But, yo, Lolly, clearly you know what you're talking about. You Listening to you talking about this deck, it's like listening to me talking about Pendulums. Clearly you know what you're talking about. So anyone who's playing Dragon Maids, play this deck. And before we leave, any last shoutouts you want to give, bro? Of course, yeah. So first of all, Triff Gaming and my Triff Gamers. <laughs> what it is, man. Uh, shout out to Triff Fitness. Uh, Triff Fatness. If y'all getting fat, uh, get the hell out of here. Uh, shout out to uh, Christian Arena, uh, Mark St. Romain, uh, Drew Lasco, uh, sort of Hani Jawari, but not really. Uh, and he knows why. Uh, definitely big shout out to Jeff Jones. Uh, definitely inspired by him. Uh, but I had to make a few changes, obviously. Come on, man. I uh, shout out to all the homies who have been cubing with me lately. I uh, shout out to MBT and his Quarantine Series Cup. Uh, that, that was a tournament I played in to do this. It's on EO Pro. I uh, check MBT Yu-Gi-Oh out. He's dope. And then the whole B Beyond community, y'all know who you are. Uh, and again, Steven, thanks for having me, dog. Hey, 100%. Glad to have you on. And everyone watching, if you play Dragon Maids and not Pendulums, you're an idiot. But if you're not playing Pendulums and want to play the second best deck, that's Dragon Maid, baby! So pick up your Dragon Maid deck! And we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. <laughs> Later, guys. Peace.